are many online materials available to both students and teachers. For the student, there are skill sheets in many of the sections. These skill sheets give the student the opportunity to consolidate and further their understanding of particular topics. At the end of each chapter, there is an assignment, which again, the student may use to revise the whole chapter, or these may be used at a later stage of the year, depending on the choice of the teacher or student. At the end of each unit, there is a practice exam available to the students, who may use this as preparation for their Unit 1, Unit 2, or Unit 3, or Unit 4 exams. Again, there is a problem-solving modelling task available to students, and these may be used in a similar way. For the teacher, there are many materials available. To begin with, there are solutions to each of the questions in the book. The teacher has access to these immediately, but they may choose to disseminate them to students, just at one at a time or in whole chapters. This enables the teacher to make uh, choices about which exercises to give and also serves the purpose for the student of being able to finish off exercise where they have actually had difficulty. Reading solutions is a valuable process if it's just not copied out. Besides this, there are three tests in each chapter. The first two tests consist of multiple choice questions and technology free questions. The third test is organised into the three QCAA categories of simple familiar, complex familiar and complex unfamiliar. Therefore giving students and teachers more opportunity to identify this type of question and practise them. There is also a large number of problem solving modelling tasks available, especially in units one and two, for the teacher to avail themselves of to give further practice to their students in this area. At the end of each unit, there is an exam, which is available unseen by students that the teacher may use or modify. There is also a problem solving modelling task that the teacher may use in a similar way.